It's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today I've got a fun, challenging, lots of flow, coordination kind of workout for you. Lots of combo moves. We're going to be using a magic circle and a long resistance band. Mine's medium tension. I'd suggest light or medium but not heavy. It will be too hard to do the exercises we're going for today. So a lot of the moves have both of the props at the same time, but we are going to start standing with just the ring. So you can put your um, resistance band out of the way. And we're gonna start in a nice wide second position. Are you ready? <laughs> Bring your hands onto the ring. A little pressure into the palms, but nothing crazy that gets up into your neck and shoulders. Okay, reach that ring right out in front of you and wrap those elbows down. So we're working from the lat area, the underneath part of the arm. Okay, I want you to drop down into your wide second plie, lengthening the tailbone to the floor, and then pull up through the inner thighs to stand. Two more like that. Inhale, we drop down. Exhale, pull up through the inside of the legs to stand. Last one, we're staying in it. Okay, so you're gonna turn to the right into a lunge, pivoting the left toes to point to the right leg. We lunge down, then come up just halfway back into your wide second position. We're gonna take that to the left. So your left toes and the back toes, right toes pivot to that left wall, lunge down, maybe get that knee tap. Come halfway up, not all the way up, and then we're back into our wide second position. So we're gonna go through this a couple times, then we're gonna add arms. So pivoting over to the right, give me that knee tap, halfway up through center, drop it low. Make sure those knees are pressing back when we're in those sumo squat motions. So I know that this is a little bit challenging to pivot on the feet, but that's the idea, right? giving some flow to our Pilates moves. And also coordination is challenging in a good way. Okay, last time through, we're gonna add arms. So in the center and our sumo squat, our arms stay just like this. Now when we turn to the right, we're going to also add a twist with the arms to the right. Back to center, drop it low, pivot left. Twist left, back through center, drop it low. Okay, here we go. When you go into those twists, be mindful that you're not pulling the pelvis with you. So I want that twist to be in your waistline so that this is good for some thoracic spine mobility and those obliques. So what I mean by that is when we go to the right and we twist, Make sure you're not pulling your left hip forward. So that left hip should resist the twist. And then I'll show you this over when we go to the left. Make sure the right hip's not coming with you. So the right hip should pull back. So both hips should point to the side wall. Okay, we're gonna go one more time through and then we're gonna add something else. Maybe you add a little bit of pace to it. Maybe you're moving nice and slow. Neither is right or wrong, it's just wherever feels good for you today. Okay, adding on, lunging over to the right, we twist, stay right as you come through center, reach the ring up, lunge again on the right leg and reach the ring over to the right. Then back through center, lower the arms back to second position. Okay, we're gonna do that to the left. So we twist left, then we turn through the chest left. Come back through center, reach the ring up, now we're gonna take that side bend to the left. Back through center, lower the arms, and second position. So two lunges on each side. One with a twist, through center, reach the arms up. One with a side bend. Okay, so this is definitely challenging our balance, yeah? So you can take it nice and slow. If you need that to steady the feet. One twist, reach the arms up and side bend. Now when you go into that side bend, I want you to try to get your arms really straight. So there's no bend in the elbows. So look at my arms right here when I reach up. We're not bent. Reach the ring to the ceiling. That is going to help with getting more mobility in your shoulders and the underneath part of the arm. Are we getting warm, guys? <laughs> I'm already sweating. Okay, we're gonna take one more each way. 
So through center, right leg lunge, twist. Center, reach the arms up, side bang, right leg lunge. Take it through wide second position, twist it left, turn the chest. Reach the arms up, woo. Remember those arms are straight, reach the ring away from you. Back through center, wide second position. Good work, guys. Okay, so taking this into our deadlifts, using the ring. So number one thing I wanna see here is your knees bent. I want your back flat, your knees bent. Take the ring, place one pad of the ring on the floor, and place both pad, hands on the top pad. Now bend your knees more, move your chest forward and reach your hips back. The ring, you have to be careful putting too much weight into it. If you push down into it, it might fling away. So that's just a very gentle help here. Reach your right leg straight back and keep that bend in the left knee. Lengthen the spine. You're going to lift your right leg straight up, staying parallel. Staying parallel, sweep the right leg to the right, center, and lower it down. Up. Windshield wiper right, getting work into the outer right glute. Center and lower down. Notice my knee and toes point to the floor the entire time. That's definitely a big challenge with deadlifts is squaring the pelvis. So since we're working the right leg, a lot of times that right hip likes to open. You can, if you're balanced enough, you could put your right hand on that right hip and kind of push it towards the floor. Nice work, guys. Well, let's do three more. Abdomen is up for three. Woo. And two. Good, last one. We lift, side sweep right, center, lower down. Roll it up. Okay, I'm just gonna switch sides so you can see the other side. And here we go. So place the ring just about a foot in front of you. Feet hips distance, bend your knees. Reach your heart forward, reach your tailbone back and then that left leg's reaching back behind you. Left hip bone points to the floor. Lift your left leg up. Open the left leg to the left without the leg turning out. Bring it in, lower it down. Good, so we're lifting using the back of the leg strength. We're opening using that outer glute strength. Back in line with the hip, and we lower. Yeah, the more of a bend you can put into your right knee, you're actually gonna get a little bit more uh, work there. So I'm really trying to keep that knee bent. Good, now relax your shoulders and pull them away from your neck. Nice job, guys. The last three. Woo, almost last that one. Staying focused, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, one more, big lift. Side sweep, pull it in, lower it down with control, roll up through that spine. Good work guys, we're taking it to the mat and we need both props now. Okay guys, so grab your resistance band and your ring. We're going to be kneeling, so if you need to pad up your knees, do so, because we'll be kneeling for a little bit. Kneel on the band with your knees about hips distance and just even out the sides of the band so we have the same tension. Also, you're gonna grab the ring. Now, if your band is really long, you could do this standing instead of kneeling. And if your band is really short, you could sit back on your heels because it might just have too much tension in it. So wrap the hands around it, or if you feel safe, hold the edges of the band. And remember, you can always wrap your hands around more if you need to choke up. So we have a nice, proud collarbone. We're kicking the shins into the floor behind us and scooping our abdomen in and up. Now, as we move into this arm work, try not to let it move your spine. So we're nice and still in the rest of the body. Okay, taking the arms down at a low diagonal, lift the arms up right through that ring. Smile for your photo. And we take it down before we lose tension. So I don't want there to be slack in the rope at the bottom. Well, let's do this. So inhale up. Exhale, keeping that core nice and tight as we lower the arms down so it doesn't pull the body. Inhale, lift. <laughs> Exhale lower, it's kind of hard not to do that. <laughs> Last four, inhale lift. Exhale lower, be mindful if those shoulders are elevating. So, so press, press those, those shoulders, shoulders down. down in opposition. Okay, last one. We're gonna keep it at chest tight. So take it down to chest tight, bend your elbows out to the side, squeeze into that ring. Press that ring straight forward. 
Bend it in, hug the ring from those chest muscles, little release, and we go forward. Now with this one, make sure the front of your shoulders are not rounding in. Pull them onto your back. Okay, let's hit three more. For three, big squeeze. Woo! For two, big squeeze. Last one, let's hold for 10 squeezes. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good for perking up the area. Four, three, two, don't drop the ring. We're gonna now draw circles. So we go out and up, down and around. Out and up, down and around. So your goal is to not let the shoulders rise or round forward. Keeping the chest open. Good, two more. You know we're gonna reverse. The last one. Okay, so we start low, press out, lift up. Start low, press out, lift up. Okay, four more. For four. And three. Getting that shoulder work, right? <laughs> two. Okay, hold it at chest tight on one. We've got little squeezes on that ring. Hug it in, in, in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep the ring. We're going to take twists. Twist to the right. Hug the ring. Release through center. Twist to the left. Hug the ring. Release through center. So rotation and chest and shoulders, right? Now I want the rotation to be in your waist. So notice if it's your arms, it will look like this. That means the ring isn't at the center of your chest. The ring should stay at the center of your chest and it's being moved because you're turning your chest, not because you're pulling with your arms. The arms are following what your spine is doing. We're gonna add on, press into the ring, reach the ring out, pull the ring in, come through center. Twist left, squeeze the ring. Reach the ring to the front left diagonal. Pull it in, come through center. Arms are getting shaky. Two more each way. Twist and squeeze. Reach at the front diagonal. Pull it in, come through center. Twist and squeeze. Reach to the front diagonal. Pull it in, come through center. Last one each way. Twist, squeeze. Reach, pull it in, and center. Twist, squeeze, reach. Pull it in, come through center. Okay, so we're gonna take this series over with the left hand having the ring and move a lot of the band. Oh, it's getting sweaty. Move a lot of the band, it's nice and shiny, over to the right. So you're kneeling on the band still, but you're not kneeling on a lot. Take the ring out to the right with almost, out to the left with almost a straight arm. Band is going to be in the right hand with your palm next to your cheek. And you got the band in front of you. Okay, so we've got the ring down. As you inhale, we're gonna stretch into that resistance band and go into a side bend, pushing down into the ring. And then we're gonna roll it back up. Now you just gotta watch the tension. We don't want too much tension here, so I'm gonna actually loosen up the tension. My goal is to get the side body stretch. So your top arm is totally straight and not here. If your arm is bent like this, it's too heavy. Straight arm, elbow forward, and then reach, and then roll it up. Okay, couple more. Inhale, press into the ring and lengthen the side body. Exhale, lower down. This end of the band's doing all sorts of stuff. Now when you're in the side bend, try to pause and reach your right knee and your right arm apart. So dig your right knee into the floor in that side body stretch. Try to hold it, feels good. <laughs> Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, roll it up. Okay, let's do two more. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, roll it up. Good, last one. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, Return, good work. Okay, so for our next exercise, the side kicks, here is the setup. The band's going to go around the right foot. Both sides of the band go into the right hand. The closer you hold to the right foot, the more tension. So you can adjust further away if you need less. The ring will do just what it did for the last exercise. So it's in the left hand, line it up with the left knee and reach it over to the left. 
We're in a slight diagonal for our side kicks. Make sure we don't release down. So lift up nice and strong and then lift your right leg up. Pull the right hand to the right hip to give that leg some tension and turn the right leg out. We're gonna go for a turned out leg press like a frog. So bend the knee wide and then push away and squeeze the glute. Bend the knee wide, push away and squeeze the glute. Fold in, press out. Now I'm trying to not let the heel drop when I do this. So the foot will still line up with the knee when I bend. You got it, let's go for five and four. Already shaken for three. We're gonna go parallel in two. Last one, parallel the leg. Now we're gonna go leg sweeps forward and then pull back and squeeze your butt. Try to stay lifted. Forward, pull back, squeeze the back of the leg. Now making sure toes and knee point forward. We're trying to not lean too much into the ring. Woo! We're feeling it. What do you say? Five more. Get that leg up there. Five. It's not tons of reps. It's doable. Four. Three. Pull tension in that band. Two. Really lift it up. Last one. And we float it down. Good work. Okay. Step your right foot forward and have just a little bit of the band underneath the right foot. A lot of the band is over to the right. Stepping into a proposal stance with the right foot on the band, ring in the left hand. Let's choke up on the band a little bit. Put one pad of the ring on your outer left hip. The left elbow is slightly bent to the side. With the resistance band, bring that arm straight up at shoulder height. So we're gonna go to a bicep curl, keeping the elbow elevated, squeezing the ring, release the ring, straighten the arm. Then you're gonna hinge forward and keep your arm completely straight, chest expansion on a hinge. Pull your right arm straight back behind you as you squeeze the ring. So straight arm sweeps up, biceps curl to squeeze that ring. Hinge forward, get really long in the spine, pull the band back behind you, squeeze the ring. So we've got a little flow. Bicep squeeze, straight arm, hinge and squeeze. You got it. So when you do chest expansion, you should feel like you can pull your right shoulder blade towards your back, towards your spine. So your chest is really open. If you need less tension, hold further away from your right foot. If you need more, hold closer. Nice job, guys. Let's go for five more. We've got five. And pull back, squeeze. Four. And three. Good, last two. Nice. Okay, one more. Last one. Hold the hinge, hold the hinge forward with your arm staying really straight. Pulse back, squeeze the ring at the same time. Do not bend your elbow, move the whole arm in the shoulder socket and pull back and back. Open your chest. Make sure you have it rounded. Squeeze that upper back. Let's go for 10, nine, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, get it high. Three, two, and one. Release. Okay, so we're gonna reverse the flow. So taking it over to the left leg, kneeling on the band. So same exercise we just did. So just a little bit of the band is underneath the left foot. Okay, we're gonna hold kind of close to the left foot with the left hand, and then we're gonna take that ring and put it on the outer right hip. So your left heel should be underneath your left knee, and your right knee should be underneath your hip. Palm is on the pad of the ring, so we squeeze as we bicep curl, are you ready? So bring that left arm up, elbow at shoulder height, unless you need to modify. Bicep curl, squeeze the ring, slow release, hinge forward with a flat back, and pull the strap straight back behind you. Now I can tell I need to make it a little heavier, so adjust if you can feel that. So we have bicep curl to squeeze, 
and then we're gonna hinge. It's okay if they're slack as you go through the center. Okay, every time that you hit that chest expansion, I want you to really hold it for a beat. So it's not that quick and back up, yeah. Pull, hold, feel the left shoulder blade move onto the back and then come back up through center for your bicep curl. Good work, guys. Good. So just keep breathing. It's okay if, you know, if breathing gets confusing for you with exercise, number one thing is to just breathe. You don't have to worry so much about when the inhale and exhale is if it's confusing. So number one, just breathe. <laughs> nice job. Okay, we've got four more. And for four, don't forget about the ring. I know it's a lot of choreography. <laughs> and three. Nice work, two more for two. Okay, last one. You know we're gonna do those pulses. So sweep your arm straight back for chest expansion. Pull the left shoulder blade off the chest. Hinge forward and now pulse the ring and lift your arm. No bend in that elbow. So it's not a tricep kickback, although you will feel your tricep. Good, we got 10, nine, eight. Let's go a little higher for me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Okay guys, it is sidekick time. So put the ring around the left foot. That's not the ring, the band around the left foot. And then hold both edges of the band with the left hand, kind of in the middle, depending on how long your band is. Ring is in the right hand, it's standing up on one pad, lines up with the right knee. Reach the arm over to the right and lean over on a diagonal, but stay lifted through your core. So that left leg's out to the left, it's turned out, we lift it up and we pull tension into the band. And we've got our bend presses to start, so we're in our frog. Good, squeezing through the glute. If you find that this exercise is just too much with the ring, you can put your right hand on the floor. No problem. So remember, instead of just totally quitting an exercise because it feels uh, not doable, just modify it. Good work, guys. Breathe in, then breathe out, push into the tension. We're gonna go four more for four. And three. For two. Okay, last one, press out, parallel. Abs engage, sweep the leg forward, and then pull back and squeeze your tush. Now when you go back, be careful going too far back. So the leg should line up with your hip or maybe go a couple inches behind you, but you don't wanna feel it in your lower back. So no like back crunch when your leg moves back. Okay, keep that leg up. We got five more, five. Woo! Four, I make that sound when I'm feeling it. For three, <laughs> and we're shaking. For two, we got it, last one. For one, squeeze, and we take it down. Okay, so now we're kneeling on the band. We're back to the start of this kneeling flow. Kneeling on the band with our knees, shocker, but a lot of the band is over to the left, and the ring is in the right hand like we had for our side kicks. So bring the band kind of in front of you, left palm to the cheek, tuck the tailbone under. So this is a side body opener, we're gonna inhale, lean a little bit into the band and stretch through your top arm. So remember, I don't want that, I want you to lengthen. Press your left knee down as you reach out through your left hand, and then we roll it up. Big breath in, stretch. Is your head back? Is your top shoulder open? And then roll it up, okay? Six more, big stretch. And restack that spine. Breathe in, and breathe out. Good, we're here for three. Oh, that feels so good to me. Last two. Good, last one. 
Inhale, stretch through the left side. And exhale to return. Okay, so place the ring aside for a moment. Coming into some prone extension work, just for the band for this one. So you know, the band's gonna be overhead, and you're gonna lay flat down on your stomach on the mat. Okay, so take the hands to a wide V. For this one, I want you to focus on getting your arms straight more than having a ton of tension in the band. So kind of like that last exercise, when you lift your arm up, we don't really want that. I want you to reach through the elbow, okay? So legs are long behind us. The lower back, we want less curve. So we're gonna try to reach the lower back towards our heels behind us. Good, pulling the abdomen in. One arm is gonna push down, one arm is going to lift up. So press your right hand into the floor as you lift your left arm and your right leg. So one hand is anchoring the band. Okay, lower the left arm and the right leg, and we switch. So anchor the band into the floor with the left hand, lift the right arm, lift the left leg, and then lower down. I'm just gonna keep my chest lifted. If that's too much for your back, then please rest the chest to modify. Okay, so opposite arm and leg, and I'm reaching the band overhead as I plug my shoulder into my back. So to get your arm really straight, we need two opposing actions. It's not all just reaching forward, because if you do that, this is what will happen. Your shoulder will be out of its socket and onto your neck. So as much as I'm reaching forward through my hand, I have to use my lat muscle, kind of like underneath armpit, to pull in. Okay, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry, it will all come. Right, it's a practice. So if you learn one little thing every class or once a week, it all builds over time. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, staying open in the collarbone. And feeling the shoulder blade of the arm that you're lifting pull down the back. Good work, guys. Okay, let's see if we can start to get the arm a little higher. So we've gotten it straight. Now I want you to lift. Can you get it by the side of your head? Pull up, 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 up. Make sure it's lengthening in both directions. And then lower down. Lift. Pull up, 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 up. Shoulder down, arm up. Okay, let's go one more each way. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Nice work. Let's push back. One quick child's pose. I'm not doing a lot of stretching in the class. I'm trying to keep that heart rate up. Okay, you guys, bring it on up. We are taking it into abs. So we need the ring and the band, and we're gonna lay on the back. So the ring will start in between your legs, just right above the ankles. Good, and then the band will be in your hands. A little bit wider than shoulder distance. Oh, I forgot I had this mic pack. We'll just leave it next to us. Let's see if that works. Okay, so bring the legs up to tabletop. Squeeze the ring, find a little tension in the band. Okay, you're gonna inhale, reach the legs out to 45 degrees, keep the arms where they're at. Seal your low back to the floor. There's no space between your back and the mat. Squeeze the ring, pull the legs back in, and curl up. Inhale, rest your head, reach the ring out. Squeeze the ring, pull the belly in, and then bring the legs in, and we curl up. Inhale, the legs lengthen, and you're taking a hold. Then you're hugging the ring, drawing the legs in, curling up over the ribs. Lift your back. Inhale, set the head down, reach the legs out, squeeze the ring. Or holding. Then we pull the legs in, we breathe out and curl up. Okay, inhale, lengthen. Pause, make your core work. Hang out here for a second. Squeeze the ring, pull it in and curl up. So what I'm just trying to demonstrate is that it's not about a ton of reps. 
You know, you can stay in the really challenging position and get a lot out of it. Just hang out here for a second, keep your legs long. And then pull it in, and we curl up. Okay, we're gonna switch this. So now, extend the legs out, curl up at the same time. Tension in the band, twist right, twist left, come to center, rest it down. Breathe out, curl up, squeeze the ring, twist right, twist left, come center, rest it down. Exhale, pull the abs in to lift, squeeze that ring, twist right, twist left, come center, pull it down, curl it up, twist right, twist left, come to center, rest it down. This time, curl and hold. Stay lifted, squeeze the ring. In, in, in. Now look at your navel and pull it to the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold the squeeze on the ring. Lower the legs an inch, lift the legs an inch. Lower, lift. Not causing any momentum. As you lift the legs up, I want you to suck your abs in more. Eight, seven, you got this. Keep that chest up. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold the legs up on one. We're gonna pulse the chest up an inch, down an inch. Lift, lower, we have 10. Nine, eight, seven. Let's get nice and strong today, guys. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold right here on one, one of each. Squeeze the ring, lower lift the legs, pulse the chest. Four more, squeeze, lower lift, pulse. Three more, squeeze, lower lift, Pulse, two more, squeeze, lower lift, pulse, last one, squeeze, lower lift, pulse. Oh my gosh, that killed my abs. Good work. So guys, we are gonna stretch it out. Grab your ring, Woo. reach your right toes into the ring, and I want you to find neutral in your low back, so stick your tush down, so now you do have an arch. It's different than that core work we just did. Okay, pull the shoulders onto the mat and then bend your knee an inch and then extend. Bend, reach up through the heel. Good, try to pull your toes down as you press your heel up. So really get the back of the leg. Keep that space in the low back. Whew. <laughs> Good guys. Okay, now we're gonna do this on the diagonal. So bring your right leg a couple inches to the left, but still right tush down, and then bend the knee an inch and push out. Bend and push out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, three more. Good, sits bones are heavy. Last two. Last one. And release. Okay, put the left toes in the ring. Okay, now arch your back. So you've got the natural curve. You're gonna bend the knee an inch and then push straight up. So notice the goal is not getting the leg here and see how the butt is lifted. You wanna do the complete opposite. Get your hips down and don't let your pelvis move as we stretch. Good, three more for three. And two. Last one. Okay, the leg will go across the body to the right without the left hip lifting, and then we'll bend press. Good, so we're just doing something they call muscle flossing. Uh, instead of, and it's a little bit more dynamic. I think this is a good option if you really hate holding stretches. <laughs> it adds a little bit of movement to it. Good, last two for two. Nice, last one for one. Okay, so you're going to take the ring with you on a field trip, flip it all the way over onto your belly, and let's do swan to counter that core work with the ring. So put the ring right in front of you. It's, it's pretty close, it's not too far away. 
And then place your hands on the top pad. You can have them side by side or stacked. Okay, scoop the navel in. We're gonna inhale, push down into the ring and roll up through the spine. And then exhale, roll it back down. Inhale, draw the shoulders down. Roll up through the spine. And exhale, roll it back down. Nice work, guys. Let's take three more. This feels great. Inhale to lift and stretch out the core muscles. Exhale to lower. Inhale, float up. Exhale, roll it down. Next one, we are going to hold. So come all the way up on your inhale. Good, look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Two more each side. Look right, we got a little neck crack. Look left. Last one, look right. Look left. Come through center and roll it down. And release. You guys did an awesome job today. Thank you so much for joining me for some, I call that power Pilates. I am pretty sweaty. Uh, let me know your favorite move in the comments and how this class went for you. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It's 100% free. It just helps get some more eyes on my content. And if you ever have a class idea, I love to hear it in the comments, so let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.